som seg hør og bør en ledende norsk og global industribedrift, har Hydro mål om null utslipp i et livssyklusperspektiv. Vi skal nå få høre mer om Hydros bidrag inn i det grønne skiftet. Ta godt imot konsernsjef i Hydro, Svein Rikard Brandsegg. Modern society is a world of dilemmas, big and small. And climate change is definitely a big. It's perhaps, perhaps the most striking example of a challenge everybody agrees that has to be overcome. But our way of living is pu pushing us in the wrong direction. There are, of course, a multitude of reasons why uh, we are not able to act with the necessary force to fight climate change. But the fundamental issue is this. We live in an increasingly resource-driven world, and our resource base is increasingly constrained. It does not add up, and something has to give. But what? How and when? A global transformation into a low-carbon society is not our only escape route. But this is to say at least no quick fix. Building a low-carbon world requires a low-carbon global economy, which is still far away. Globally, it remains expensive to do right and cheap to do wrong. The opposite what's needed to break our high carbon reality. We all agree that climate and economy has to work together, not against each other. But what has all this to do with a global aluminium company like Hydro? My argument is twofold. The climate challenge won't be solved unless we go, go from talk to action. And in Hydro, we have taken the consequence of this and implementing a strategy to become carbon neutral by 2020. We are very much striving to be a responsible company and we are in it for the long game. In Hydro, we see climate challenge as a key mega trend where we either stay ahead of the curve or fall behind. Our footprint is both our responsibility, but also our opportunity. It may be a competitive advantage or a disadvantage, and of course we prepare to be a front runner rather to run behind. The climate challenge is a global issue requiring global solutions. For us, in Hydro, operating in a truly global industry. We uh, know that this is by no means an empty phrase. Today, cracking down on emissions in one part of the world may lead them to reappear elsewhere, which could do more harm than good. For example, cutting our aluminium production in Norway could open up for more aluminium production in India or China based on coal. This would increase the global carbon emissions by 15 million tons a year. In a fully global economy, the life cycle analysis from production, use phase and recycling by any end user products is hard to pin down. But these complex calculations are absolutely necessary and what we need to be able to do informed decisions. And even before a global commitment is in place, Hydro wants to act as a global leader within our industry and our long value chain. And the aluminium value chain is an excellent example of the global scale complexity of the climate challenge. We all want to be a part of the solution, but in Hydro, we start to be a part of the problem. 
For hydro, this would mean bauxite mining and alumina refining in northern Brazil. Transporting raw material, aluminum oxide to Norway to our smelters here. At our smelters, for example, at Sundal, uh, the Brazilian alumina meets a carbon anode and a heavy dose of uh, hydropower to form the aluminum metal. Up to this point, the aluminum story is not a climate story. Even if hydro has the best technology on, and the lowest average emission in the industry, much thanks to the Norwegian hydropower. But in use, aluminum goes from making emissions to saving emissions. And two examples. Aluminum can, in construction can take a building from ordinary to extraordinary. Within the Powerhouse Alliance here in Norway, we are planning to build an energy positive building in Trondheim. And what does the architect say? If we can do it in Trondheim, we can do it anywhere. Construction is also showing a typical sector where climate and economy can go hand in hand, where the doing the right thing can pay off. Hydro has helped to build a new headquarter of Vodafone in Italy, in Milan, where they used several um, energy-saving technologies delivered by Hydro. The additional cost for that building was 18%, but the payback time for the 18% additional cost was less than two years, a very profitable investment. Aluminium in cars makes them lighter, less fuel consumption and lower emissions. One kilo of aluminium can replace three kilos of steel. Car makers such as Audi, BMW, Mercedes, Land Rover, and yes, Tesla, is, are all using aluminium to build climate-friendly vehicles. In conclusion, aluminium may be seen as a part of the problem when produced, but clearly, Using aluminium is a part of the solution in the user phase. But does these two balance out? Not quite. But we will get there by playing the winner card up our sleeve, recycling. Recycling is aluminium's ace of spades. Recycling takes only 5% of the energy to produce the metal the first time around. And it can be done again and again and again without degradation of aluminium inherent qualities. Aluminium is an energy bank, and that is why 75% of all aluminium ever produced is still in use. We expect our footprint to either become a competitive advantage or a disadvantage, and we like advantages. Our climate strategy has three pillars. We will start with ourselves. We are planning a pilot plant at Kame to test the most energy efficient technology in the world for aluminium production, which could have a huge significance for climate. If we cut the energy used to produce one kilo of aluminium with one kilowatt hour for the Norwegian production, that correspond to one terawatt hour per year, which is the energy to power the city of Bergen. We will turn our customers' challenge into our opportunity. We will do our utmost to help our customers to cut their emissions by innovating, uh, developing, and problem solving on their behalf to get the full climate potential out of aluminium in use. We see our most demanding customers as our most valuable customers. And they are concerned about their footprint due to increasingly educated end users like youth. We very much welcome this consumer pressure. If our customers understand your call to go green, as their call to go to hydro, we have a winner. We will be going in circles 
we must ensure that as much metal as possible come back to the loop. It's a pure bonus, both in economic and climate sense. Long before anyone had heard about climate change, aluminium was remelted and reused because it made economic sense to do so. And if it did economic sense at that time, if it made economic sense at that time, it does definitely make economic sense today. A bonus for the global climate as well as for the wallet. That's why we plan to almost double our recycling capacity towards 2020. The best position for us commercially, as well as from a climate perspective, is to be carbon neutral, and that is precisely our goal. Zero footprint by 2020. This means that we want to reach and become carbon neutral from a life cycle perspective and bring our climate books in balance. Even if it will be extremely challenging to live up to, we will make every effort possible to make it happen. We are in fact so eager to make it happen uh, that uh, we want to take an, an important step right here, right now. We have entered into a partnership uh, with Norsk Resirk, Norway's organization for recycling of beverage packaging to ensure that recycl recycling of cans here in Norway happens in Norway at Hydro Holmestrand to be precise. Norsk Resirk, here represented by CEO Kjell Olav Maldum, has done a tremendous job at placing Norway among the top recycling countries in the world, with close to half a billion recycled cans a, a year. So let's give them a big hand. <laughs> Our agreement will optimize the loop of the can uh, you recycle, further reducing its footprint, which may come back to life as your next mobile phone, your car, or a can. Arnold Schwarzenegger is famous for I'll be back, the most recycled catchword ever. And just as Arnold, this can is more than ready to turn words into action. So next time you grab a can, please recycle.